Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, next update. Uh, so let's uh, let's get right into it. Um, I got some things to show you on the front end and then uh, actually on the back end too. So we're gonna go front to back. Well, um, so last time we talked about the uh, headlights and what we've done in the meantime is we've basically done these surrounds so that the headlights fit in. So you can see them there. Um, this was quite a bit of work because we had to actually reshape the hole to fit these in there um, and get them nice and uh, close. You can ignore the green tape. That was just there for protecting the lenses of the, of the headlights. You can see they're pretty cool looking. I love these headlights. These are like my favorite headlights ever, but that should be pretty obvious. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we got them both in. So the next thing to do is take them back out. Um, we've got to bevel the edges a little bit uh, so that they have a nice transition into the lens. And then um, we've got to do the electrical work where we've got to hijack the turn signals, running lights and the headlights. So that's next on our list. Um, the other thing we've done, and I'm sorry I don't have a good video of it, but you can go to our Facebook page and check out the new design. We have this new lower design. The Facebook page is Laser Sterling, so you guys can go over there and if you haven't checked it out, you really should because we post a lot more of the details uh, there on that page. But we've decided to try our new front end here. The old front end was uh, warped and distorted, so we cut that out. And we went ahead and mocked up a cardboard uh, front end. So anyway, you can't see it very good here in the video because I'm up against the wall, but uh, go to the Laser Sterling uh, or 3D Car Printing Facebook page and check it out. Uh, give us your thoughts on it. Um, the one other thing that we're going to do probably this week is we're going to get a new windshield and we're going to go ahead and cut the new windshield and hopefully install it into the uh, windshield surround. Um, the nice thing is, is this windshield surround comes off the car. So we'll probably pull it off the car and put the windshield in it while it's off the car and then reinstall it back on because it'll give everything some uh, structure. So we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll give you an update on that. Um, let's move on to the rear diffuser. Uh, this is the one that I had on the car. Um, it's obviously not finished body worked, but we did paint it a little bit. Um, it has a lot of distortions on it. That I'm not liking and so we went ahead and 3d printed a new one now this one was printed in PLA um, it was printed uh, about 10 millimeters thick with about 20% infill and since then uh, the new prints that I do are either ASA or ABS and I do make them a lot thinner with higher infill so that the epoxy cannot uh, travel into those uh, interior areas and uh, heat up and melt the plastic. The other thing the ABS or the ASA does is it gives us uh, up to about 105 centigrade um, tra glass transition temperature, so it's less likely to warp in the sun. Um, so anyway, and, and this thing turned out to weigh just god awful amount. It's like, I don't know, it's like 120 pounds. It's just ridiculous. So, um, what we've done is we're starting to uh, do our rear diffuser again. So, this is the new one. You can see there, this one is a lot straighter and will require a lot less body work and therefore will be uh, infinitely lighter. Um, the nice thing is, is that we're starting on the back side here. We're using this uh, pretty heavy uh, carbon fiber material and I've hand laid two layers on there and then I've just put a layer of thick epoxy on the outside which will um, 
basically act as a strengthening uh, layer to the uh, to the piece. So this is this is basically the first step in doing a hand laid uh, panel. So that's what we're going to concentrate on for now because when we get back to the other panels that we've done body work on, we're going to do a hand lay of the carbon fiber uh, on the part. So we don't need to do the vacuum infusion because a lot of the parts that we're going to be doing the hand lay on are relatively flat surfaces. You can see that some of them are curved like this rear quarter, but actually the carbon fiber lays on there really nicely. So you put on a, a layer of carbon fiber, you wait a few hours and you let it get nice and tacky and then you put the carbon fiber on it. And then you cover that with a uh, another layer of infusion epoxy so that you can get into the carbon fiber uh, filaments. And then you put a, like it is here, a thick uh, epoxy on the surface. And that gives you a nice uh, strong layer. Now remember, none of this stuff is structural. So this is gonna be mostly for giving the 3D prints a little strength so that they hold up. And then also to give them a nice look. So that's kind of what we're going for with these uh, panels that are 3D printed. Um, so anyway, this is this comes from lessons learned um, on this project. So so anyway, that's uh, that's basically all we have for right now. I took the car out for a little stint. Um, we'll do a video on that. I took it down um, our street here. Um, and uh, got it into second gear and everything. The suspension's working great. I don't have any weird things going on there. Do have a little bit of an oil leak on one of the turbo return lines. Um, so we'll be addressing that, but that's a detail. The other thing that we did was we adjusted the front springs to make sure they're more in the center of travel. Right now the vehicle is aired up um, so what I can do is I can drop it down. It's our little R button here. And then now you can see this is where the car will actually ride. So um, if I push there on that. So that's basically the reveal that we're going to have and the ride that we're going to have on the car. So. Now that's putting us about three inches off the deck. Um, I do have uh, some adjustment in there where I can adjust a little bit more uh, height into the uh, car, but I can also use the air system to bring it up as well. So we will do some calibration on the air system so that we can actually get that to ride uh, exactly where we want it. Um, but everything's working pretty well as far as the suspension is concerned. So um, that's our, our quick update uh, for today. We'll uh, come back and uh, uh, talk about hopefully the successful installation of the uh, windshield. Uh, we'll see about that. Anyway, I can screw that up a lot because those windshields are pretty cheap. But we're only gonna cut the sides on that this time. So we're hoping that with just cutting the sides, we're not gonna relieve, uh, relieve any stresses that are gonna uh, cause the window to crack. Because that's what happened last time. I cut the sides, everything was fine. And then like an idiot, <laughs> or getting overzealous, I cut the bottom, that relieved a lot of stress and crack. So keep your fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, I love all of your comments and uh, constructive criticism, so keep them coming. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.